Hey boys, welcome to Mask Games, my name is Simon. Today I have a setup play and review for the game Spicy. Now this is a two to six player game, it's a filler game, it takes only 15 minutes to play, and it is a bluffing game. Now check out my videos for various other ones by Huddlebert, such as uh, Cheeky Monkey, and also Time Division. This is a game whereby you're looking to get trophies. You're going to play with black cards. You're also going to play with these trophy cards. You can have three visible, or you could leave one visible for the time being, because as soon as somebody's out of cards, they're going to take one of these, and the game will end in a couple of ways. Either when someone has collected two of these, the game will end and they've won automatically, or you are going to insert this card into the deck, depending on the number of players, and therefore, when this card is drawn, immediately the game ends. You're going to count up your points. Your points will be the amount of cards that you've claimed minus any points left in your hand. So a point for every card that you've claimed, I'll tell you how that works in a second, minus any points left in your hand. These are some uh, extra cards you can play with. These are variant cards whereby, for example, you could have a 6 to be a 9, a 9 to be a 6, etc. But I won't be talking to that right now, but please do watch the video again and that'll help to make a bit more sense. So everybody's going to take six cards, so you're going to shuffle up this deck of cards, these very shiny, lovely looking cards, which I talked about before in the review unboxing teaser trailer preview over video. Also let me know at the comments best on YouTube, like, subscribe and hit the notification bell, and please do share. So here we go, I have got, uh, in this case, five sick cards. We've also sort of inserted this card again very cleverly about into the deck where it's going to be, so let's just chuck it in about there. Let's say I start. So I must play a card value one, two, or three. As you might notice, I may not even have that. In this case, I do. So let's just say I play this. Now I can play it either as a wasabi, I could play it as a chili, or I could play it as a pepper, which fortunately I've got all three in my hand. In this case, I've got a wild as well. There are three of every value and number. So there's three, one wasabis, for example. And there are a number of these joker cards. There are five of these as well. So five of these, one to 10, is also another type of joker card, which is basically purely any of these three different suits or different types of spice. However, in this case, there's no spice on it. It's just any value between one and 10. So we're gonna place this down. Let's tell them the truth and say it's a one wasabi. They're gonna play a top card on top of that. Now they must play another wasabi or say they're playing another wasabi and it must be higher. The first card you play, that first card has to have been a one, two or a three. So luckily I did have it. Otherwise I had to have bluffed and hoping it caught out. Now they do have some wasabi so they could say two wasabi. And I'm thinking, okay, do I have any more wasabi? I do. Let's just say truthful for now, five wasabi. And now uh, they can still play. Let's say they play the eight wasabi. And we're starting to plead our hand as you can see, eight wasabi. So I haven't got any wasabi left, but I could choose to play any of these cards, any card, you can always play a card, but I could choose to say that's a nine wasabi, or I could say that's a, a six wasabi, whatever it might be. I think we just played an eight, they just played an eight, didn't they? Yeah. So let's say it's a 10 wasabi. They're gonna throw their hand, and now they've already got one of them. So there's three in a game, that could be a 10 wasabi, but let's just say if they don't, if they think that's the case, and they think they should play, they're gonna have to now play a one or higher. So they might have to go around again, and of course, think about what they want to play. In this case, they're going to call them out. And they say, I don't think that is, and you're either going to say the number or the suit. So you're going to say, I don't think it's a wasabi. You turn it over. It's not a wasabi. There's nothing indicating the spice on it. If they said it was a 10, then this person would have lost. So let's say this person has correctly guessed that this was not obviously a wasabi. They get these cards as points at the end of the game. So they've got, I don't know, five or so. They can keep them off to their side. And it means this person's now gonna start again, but first off, they draw two more cards. So a bit more stuff to play with now they're starting off. Let's say they're being truthful again, three chili. They uh, haven't got anything lower, so let's say they play, I don't know, a 10 chili. And they go, all right, fine, uh, a four chili, because then it goes round. And now they don't have a five, but let's just say, I don't know, go really off. So not even the same suit, five chili. What have I just said? What did I say? I said four, didn't I? Yeah, five chili. At this point, I think they're going to say, I don't think that is uh, five. In this case, it wasn't a five, it wasn't even a chili, but it doesn't matter. One of the two things, if you say it is not what it is, then of course you've lost. So that person is now going to start off and get two cards. Of course, I would have claimed a few cards, four or so. So now they've got some more cards and they're going to play. They're going to play, I don't know, let's say a one pepper. I'll play a six pepper, whatever it was, yeah, six pepper. They can play a seven pepper. I'll play 
uh, I don't know, a nine pepper. Um, and then they're gonna have to try and play a card and they're gonna say, I don't know, 10 pepper. And I would say it's not a 10, correct. So I get those points, they get two cards, they start off, they play one wasabi. I play five wasabi. In this case, they've, I've got an ounce, so it's my final card. And then in this case, they're gonna travel into me, is it a five or is it a wasabi? They're gonna say it's not wasabi because it's unlikely to be because obviously only two cards left and, I, and they let off. So then in this case, uh, they get the points. I get two cards. Uh, hang on, I think that was there, must have been their card. And then, I don't know, I can eat off. So I say four wasabi placed down. And now it's their turn to be called out. So now they're saying eight wasabi. In this case, I'll call them because it's the final card they're going to win. Otherwise, they were correct, which means they get this. 10 points at the end of the game. But again, uh, if we happen to run out, especially if you're playing with more than two players, that means that's 10 points plus points here, minus any cards in hand when we hit that end game trigger, which as you can see, is just down there. It's a blue card, a teal card. So that's one way the game can end or one, somebody has won two of these trophy points and immediately, or when all three cards have gone again as a three player plus game. So that's how the game works. And like I said, it's a very interesting, very fun bluff game. 7.8 rating for me or 7.79. Uh, enjoyable artwork. I like playing with expansions too. It chucks in a nice bit of stuff. Uh, like I said, very quick to play, fun to play. I'll be playing this again some more very soon, including this weekend on both days. And any questions, like I always do, let me know in the comments best on YouTube. Uh, check out the various description in YouTube as well, whereby you can find uh, the podcast. You can also head through to Instagram. There's also uh, Facebook and various other places where you can join the discussion. But for now, it's been spicy. I love playing this game. Thanks for watching. Back to the table.